Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your love reading for August 2019 for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And if you would like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below as I do a giveaway every single month. So that will be down below as well as information for private paid readings and my bracelets which are available on Etsy for purchase. They are handmade, they are intention bracelets for different areas of your life and they are starting from just they, well, they start from just £3 with free international shipping. So everything for that will be down below. And let's get started with this reading for Capricorns. For love, for August of 2019, we have the Magician. We have here the Seven of Wands. Oh, we've got the Moon as well, which flipped over. So Seven of Wands. Two of Wands, Empress, Magician. I'm just trying to see if this is wonky or not. We've got the Moon. I'm going to get all of the cards out. Actually, they all want to come out anyways. Look at that. Okay, Four of Pentacles, Justice. Page of pentacles we've got the six of cups just thought i'd show you because it is obviously quite far and it's difficult to see the full card temperance oh my gosh okay wow they just fly straight out knight of swords and then the ten of pentacles oh yes love seeing that knight of swords all right Hear me out. This month for love is about grounding yourself. Um, now, before you are like, what the hell does that mean? Is that offensive? No, it's not offensive. It just means, you know, try and um, be as balanced as you possibly can in your thoughts. Because this month, August, right, is when there are so many freaking retrogrades. I mean, there's a lot happening up there in our solar system. I mean, in the universe in general, I mean, to be honest, like, the universe seems to be never-ending, and we don't know what is fully out there in the universe, right? But everything in the universe is is always happening. It's always happening. But our solar system, which we, of course, know of, is just, it has a lot of retrogrades. A lot of planets are moving in very erratic, you know, directions, and a lot is happening. So this month is really about you just trying to overcome obstacles and challenges and really trying to be as you know grounded as you can emotionally because the moon has come up here so it really you know the moon is ruled by Pisces Pisces is, is quite it's an emotional water sign and this is just about grounding your emotions you know trying to be as balanced as you po possibly can and to be able to do this you know just try and take some time for yourself try and rest and retreat try to meditate, do some journaling, um, or even, what was that other thing I mentioned? Oh yes, yoga, right? These things can really help you in that sense, and it can, it can really help you, you know, focus um, on your, focus on things that you love doing as well, and just try and be as balanced as you can, because I'm seeing, you know, it's, it's going to take time for, for love to come your way. I feel like August is one of those months that you just have to put a lot of focus into yourself because this is the month of manifesting love okay so this is what's coming through for august this reading is for august but it's showing through as this is the month of manifesting so this is for those of you that don't have you know love around you or you've been sort of stuck in a situation where you've been thinking about someone and it just isn't happening and you feel like you're going through all of these cycles and phases and it's just not coming your way and, and you're just looking out into the horizon wondering where this particular person is Right, this is the month for you to manifest this. First of all, by putting all of that energy into yourself, really taking all of that energy, putting it into yourself and being the strongest that you can. It starts, first of all, with you. You are number one, right? If you want to attract love into your life, it is about putting yourself first, giving all of that love to yourself, filling up your cup, put all of that emotional energy into yourself and try and be, you know, um, as balanced as you can in your emotions. Acknowledge everything. Purge it out if you have to. You know, purging is, is sometimes necessary. It's about things happening in the right timing. Trust the universe is doing this for your highest good. Trust that if it had happened, you know, as we are speaking, um, because for some of you it really isn't, you know, 
that the universe is protecting you in that sense. They're trying to do it for your highest good. So this is the month of manifesting. Now, what that means is putting all of that energy into yourself. Now, if you already feel that energy is already in yourself, this is really about, um, pro you know, it's about progress. We can always progress for more. Did that make any sense? I feel like it didn't, but there's always room for improvement is what I'm trying to say, because this is the month of really putting a lot into yourself. And, you know, some of you have been waiting for someone to just come up with an offer or come into your life and... You've just been waiting and it's been challenging. You know, this is really about balancing yourself first and just being honest with yourself, being okay in your own energy. And once you do that, that's when I really feel like love is going to come, right? This is about putting everything into yourself because for some of you, you haven't been. You know, you've just been waiting, but you haven't put, been putting a lot of energy into yourself. This is about putting energy into yourself. And what happens, the sooner you put more energy into yourself, right? There's communication with someone here. The Ten of Pentacles, this is with someone quite long term. There's a spiritual connection here with the Six of Cups. So this is, you know, the time for you to really put energy into yourself, do affirmations, intentions, use the Law of Attraction. This reading is very specific because this, I feel the sooner, Capricorn, whether you're a Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign, the sooner you put more energy into yourself, it uplifts the situation you're in. Whether you're in a situation where you're single, whether you're in a situation, you know, with someone and you're you're not sure where you stand or you're in a situation where you you know are wanting someone back from the past the the sooner you put more energy into yourself the sooner i feel this person comes in there's a there's a tie here between you being balanced in yourself and this person coming in that's what it's showing and it's showing that so specifically and you know it's it's very common that that can happen you know when you feel so good within your energy you have so much love for yourself that you really don't need you know another person you know in that sense because you just feel so good within yourself to the point where you're like I don't need a man I don't need a woman or you know whatever that is that's usually right when people come back from the past that's usually when people come into our lives. Why does that happen? Because the universe senses that you are just so ready. Um, and it just shows that, you know, the universe is, is works in that way. It's, you know, you just when you move on, why does someone come from the past? Why? Right? It's the universe. That's, it's, it's how it happens. And it, it's unexplainable. But that's, that's also what's coming through in this particular situation is that this is how the universe is is working in this reading as well is that when you're so balanced in your own energy and you feel so good within yourself that is when things really open up that is when things are really coming forward in this sense and it's just showing through so so strong that the more energy and time and focus and you know the more you do the law of attraction for yourself and trying to you know build up your energy and put all of that energy within yourself you know waving that magic wand for you filling up, you know, love for yourself with this Venus energy, being as balanced and, you know, in your energy as you can with that justice card, you know, letting energy go from one cup to the other. This is your energy. The sooner this connection really, you know, just full on goes, especially with this Ten of Pentacles, you know, just... An initiation as well. These pentacles lining up, feeling like the stars are lining up. Wish come true with those stars in the pentacles, and it will feel, it will feel bizarre to you, I think, because you'll be like, now, really now. But that's the kind of um, energy that is coming through in this reading, Capricorn, and that is what I am seeing. So, this is what I'm seeing. The sooner you put more energy into yourself, that's really when I feel you know, this is really going to manifest in regards to love. So Capricorn, this is your reading, whether you're Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. And I just want to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, you know, do check out the description box below and everything will be down there. But if this resonates with your situation, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as I mentioned, you know, the description box below will have everything down there from how to win a free reading, 
and how you can enter for that to private paid readings, my bracelets which are on Etsy and then my Instagram handles will be down there as well and I hope you all have a lovely day, night, wherever you are whenever you're watching this and I will see you all very very soon. Take care everyone. Bye!